Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. I'm Weston Palmer. Let's get started. But first, a thank you to my Patreon supporters. I love the interaction and feedback. Here are five tips or tricks in dealing with data sources and data joins. The first one, this is accounts payable information. You should be going through and checking all of these data fields. In this case here, you can see this is due date and it has a time. We don't want the time. So come in here and just change that to date. Tip number one. Tip number two, we're gonna to go to accounts payable. If you look above the line, those are dimensions and below the line, those are measures. So we have a vendor ID number that's showing up as a measure. We're gonna to wanna to change that to a dimension. This is not something that we are going to try and take the average of. We're not gonna try and sum it up. So we're gonna move that up to a dimension. This becomes helpful when you're moving it to the shelves. Tableau already recognizes, oh, hey, this is not a number and treats it like a dimension. Same thing here. If you look at in dispute, in dispute is a zero or one. It's kind of a flag. So you can come here and convert that to a dimension as well. Next one. Item number three. Sometimes you have data source. The data source comes across and looks kind of funny and you have to manipulate it to what I've, and I've done this on a previous video. One of the things that I do in those situations is I create, I rename the field. I call it source or original or something to let me know that this is actually coming from the data source. And then I have something that's a little easier to read product name. Another thing that I will do is come to down to default properties and call in a comment. And I'm just gonna say, do not use. I'm gonna put this in bold and red. So as you're going through, in this case, it's not too bad, but if you have a long list of fields, you can hover over this and it'll say, do not use. Usually I'll add something else that says, use this other field or here's why you don't wanna use this. Another tip. You notice on this join, there's a field that we joined on, it's product ID. You have to join on something, right? Both, I, both product IDs come across. This one indicates that this is from the product tags and this is just product ID. I usually ha hide or try to hide the uh, dependent field. You're not gonna use this one here. So I hide that. The reason I do that is I've run into a situation where I filtered on product ID in one table or a one dashboard and used and filtered on product ID on a different dashboard or even sometimes on the same dashboard. And so there's sometimes gets to be conflicts and confusion. And so by getting rid of that, it eliminates the potential for that to happen. And finally, the thing that I would do is come through and maybe rename some of these tables or these data sources. Come over here under the table, you have to open up the products table and you can just rename this by double clicking and just call us products. And just product tags. This might be, you might have tables that are easy to understand in whatever database you're using, but when you get here, this is much easier to understand and maybe you have it sorted better. You can do the same thing uh, with this larger item here. You can rename, or if you want to rename this, just double click in there and just call it product data. And now you can see this is product data. You might have something that's inventory, financial, and then you'll have different tabs or different tables under that. So that's, that's the final one. Let me know if you have some tips that you use I hope you'll check out these other cool videos that I've selected for you. Let me know what you think in the comments below.